What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another fishing mission. I'm out here today to show you guys how to catch channel catfish in the wintertime. I have two baits that I'm going to be using today. Let's go. All right, so the two baits that I have today that I wanted to show you guys is BJ bait and just regular old hot dogs. These are Bar S brand. I don't know if the brand really matters, but these are the brands that I always use. So that's what I have today. Uh, this winter, I've been having really good luck with both of these baits. I just picked this up recently and this thing has been going crazy for me. So I'm out here today with these two baits. I have three poles. So I'm gonna switch back and forth. Right now I have two pieces of that BJ bait. Cast this out there. That's the BJ bait. This is one of the hot dogs. And then I have another piece of that BJ bait on this one. So for the first section, I'm gonna go two BJ baits, one hot dogs, then I'll switch off. See if we can't catch some fish. So we got picked up. Yep, got one. Oh, it came off. Dang it. Got one on a hot dog. He's jumping out the water. All right, there's the first fish of the day. It's a little channel catfish on the hot dog. Hot dog has been doing really well for me this winter. Here it goes. Been on for about 15 minutes. It's the first fish. Had a bite on each one of them now, but this one was able to get hooked. Let's go. It's a great way to start the day. That dog got picked up again. Might have missed it though. The BJ just got hit too right now. Dang it. Man, almost had a two for right there. All right, the bite slowed down over there at the last spot. So I moved down here. About a hundred yards down. It's a little cove here. A little cutout kind of cut right here. See if we can't find some. The bike slowed down over there, so move around and see if we can't find some. Got one. On the BJs. It is pretty good. Oh yeah, that's a big one. All right, there's the second fish of the day. Another channel catfish. This one's bigger than the other one. It's a good size one. It's a good eater. We're having a fish fry tonight, so perfect. Yes, sir, let's go. The BJ's bait got hit again. I just recast it out there too. Oh, I pulled it out. Are you kidding me? It's two back-to-back -back bites on the BJ's though. The 
it's almost going tight. There it goes. Oh. All right, we made another move. Uh, the bike slowed down at the last spot. We've been getting a bunch of bites. Um, most of them have been on the BJ's bait. Uh, we've caught one fish on the hot dog, and I think we had another bite. So I think that's it. So BJ's is doing better right now. That stuff stinks. So I would expect it to do well with the water being so cold right now. But yeah, we uh we out here. We moved to a different spot. We still trying to get them. Oh come on! Pulled it out of his mouth. Dang it! It's the BJ's. Just moved over here. I picked up again, I just recast it. Oh, come on. I'm all tangled up in both lines, I think. It's on the hot dog. All right, there's fish number three. That's the second fish on the hot dog. It's been a while since I've got a bite on the hot dog. I've gotten a bunch of bites on the... Uh-oh. Got one over here. Can the tangle going off? We got another one. Oh, are you kidding me? Dang it. Pick this up. Got him. Oh, come on. What the heck? All right, y'all, I don't know what's going on. As you guys have seen, I've been getting a whole bunch of bites on the BJ's and I'll even get them hooked and then they kept keep coming off. This was a trouble. I've never had this happen before. Never, I don't know what's going on. The BJ's is harder than magic bait, so maybe they're biting down on it and not able to bite down hard enough on it to get. Uh oh, we got action. Hold on, I'll finish that in a second. This is the BJ's. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. They're taking it. Here it goes. Look, see, dang it, what is going on? Like I said, I don't know if it's just because the bait is harder than magic bait, so they're not able to chew through it. Because the hot dog getting ready to get bopped too, it looks like. Catch that out there. I'm thinking it's just because the bait is just too hard and they're not able to bite through it to get a hook in to expose the hook to get that act hook actually set into the fish i don't know this is crazy i've never had this happen before with treble hooks i'm gonna keep keep going because we're getting super action right now but it's kind of frustrating at this point
got one on the hot dog. Had a bite on the on the bag on other bait too. All right, there's fish number four. It's another little channel catfish on the hot dog. So we're now at three on the hot dog and one on the BJ's. But I have actually got way more action on the BJ's than the hot dog. I just for some reason can't hook up on the BJ's. But there we go, that's another fish. I'm getting bites on both of these right now. Got one. Oh, I came off. Are you kidding me? BJ's is killing me today. I don't know what the hell is going on right now. I'm getting bite after bite after bite, but I cannot hook anything with this stuff. I don't understand. All right, we're gonna try this. I put a smaller piece on there. Left the hooks more exposed. Let's see if this is good enough. Something picked this one up. Got it. Come on, stay on. Stay on. Yes. Finally able to land another one on the BJ's. Downsize the bait size. And that did the trick. I had a feeling it was these little small ones though. That's why they couldn't fit the bigger pieces in their mouth. So they weren't able to get hooked. So we figured it out. Let me get this hook out. There we go. All right, there's fish number five. Another channel catfish. This is the smallest one of the day. So all right, that we still get in action. As you guys can see, that sun is almost going down over there. So if you know, this is the time of day that we're gonna start catching them. Put that guy back, rebate this puppy, get it back out there. Got one. On the BJ's again. All right, there's fish number six. Another small channel cat fish. Let's go. Stay on. Stay on. Oh yeah, that's the biggest one of the day, baby. Come on. Yes, sir. All right, there's fish number seven. That's the biggest one of the day on the BJ's. Finally starting to get some hookups on that. Just downsize the piece of uh, bait that I put on there. Leave the hooks exposed a little bit more. I was able to catch another one. Let's go.
Got one. Oh, it came off. Are you kidding me? Got another one. Just recast it. Number eight. All right, there's fish number eight. It's another small channel catfish. Throw this guy back. Got about five or 10 minutes more out here. I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna get this pole re-rigged. Get one more last cast in and we're gonna get it going. Got it. That's pretty good. Don't come off. Please don't come off. Oh my god, please don't come off. 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 Come on. Come on. Yes. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo, -hoo -hoo, baby. Look at that. That's fish number eight. That is a massive channel catfish. That thing is like five pounds. This is a PB for me. This is definitely the biggest uh, channel catfish I've ever caught. I didn't even know that they had channel catfish this big in this little pond. Let's go. This is on that BJ's uh, stink bait. Been getting a whole bunch of action on this stuff all day, but wasn't able to hook up on too much. This right here makes up for all those missed fish. Let's go, baby. So I just reeled up this pole to leave. And as you can see, there's a big old crawfish on here. That's the hot dog. There he goes. Species number two. Caught eight fish. Big old catfish. And a crawdad. That's cool. Throw him back though. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for today's video. As you can see, the sun's went down behind me. That was probably the most frustrating day of fishing I've ever had, but that big old PB channel catfish at the end there saved the day for me. That's how you do it, baby, coming in clutch right at the end, catch a nice little five pounder, at least five pounds, I don't even know. I, didn't have, I don't have my scale with me today, so I don't know exactly how much it weighed, but that was by far the biggest one I've ever caught. So that was pretty awesome to end the day. All in all, I ended up catching with eight channel catfish and um, a little crawdad right at the end. And I had a whole bunch of bites all day, but we've had too much bait on the um, BJ's. So uh, for you guys out there, if you're gonna use BJ's, just put a little bit of bait on there. A little bit goes a long way. Leave the hooks exposed, much better hookup ratio. And then the hot dogs caught me some fish as well. So if you guys are looking for some wintertime catfish bait, check either one of those two out. I guarantee you guys will catch some fish. That's it for today. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.